Good morning. So glad to have you with me this morning as we spend some devotional time in the Psalms. I'm Pastor Larry Kirkpatrick here in Muskegon, Michigan, and Fremont, uh, my two churches. And we're going to look at Psalm 133 today. This is a psalm, we'll read it here, but it's a psalm about a very rare topic, at least among common, common in America. In fact, I wouldn't see that there's too much of it in America today. It's the topic of unity. Let's read. Just three verses. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. So here's a psalm about a a topic that we kind of hyper-individualists don't think too much about, unity. And it's compared to a couple of things here. But before we get to the comparison, verse 1 said, How good and how pleasant it is for the brethren to live, to dwell together in unity. I hope there's a lot of unity in your church. You know, unity. Unity is important. If we have one God and he communicates with us truly through his word and he has something particular to say, and it's not a wax, the Bible's not a a wax nose thing that uh, I think it means one thing and you think it means another. If there's a real God, as certainly there is, and he he has a a, 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 a totally, a, a totally correct, how would we say, if he has a truth that's not relative to anything else, it is simply the truth, and then everything else comes uh, is is around that. Everything connected, all the pieces are connected together. If that's the way that God is then his people will be united in a unity about those things that that are true. It says here, it is like precious oil upon the head, running down the beard of Aaron. Aaron was the high priest, and uh, his garments, he wore priestly garments, and to serve as a priest, he had to be anointed, anointed with the oil, the olive oil, and that would run down his face. And, you know, many times we've uh, had anointings of people for healing, and you anoint them with some olive oil, and it runs down their face. And it's indicating the overflowing uh, plenty of God, the overflowing healing power of God. So unity it reminds us of that high priest. And in him, all of Israel was sort of um, represented there. Uh, and so the high priest... We have that picture. We have the picture of the dew descending uh, upon the mountains of Zion. The dew and, of course, the Holy Spirit and these things seem to come together. There, for there, the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. God wants to bless us. Many times he can't bless his people because of a lack of unity. It it should not just be that when we get unhappy, boom, we're up and out of there. No, we we should double our efforts to to be surrendered to God and experience unity among our among his people well something to think about today let's pray together dear father in heaven unity is not really a very strong value today but it is it is for you and that means it has to be for us help us to subdue self lord would you come and by your spirit work in our hearts and subdue self, help us to recognize, begin to recognize some of the value, the extraordinary value of being a united people, a united people with a particular message in a time when there's every other random thought and idea and crazy message. So Lord, bless us so that that's us and we can serve you better as a people united. In Jesus' name, this is our prayer today. Amen. My prayer is that for you and I, our unity would be able to be pictured in these two pictures of the oil running down the beard of the high priest or the dew coming down from Mount Zion to bless.